Hi, welcome back to the channel, Cyborg Pirate, CyborgPirate.com, and also now on Instagram as Cyborg Pirate and the number five. So please follow, like, subscribe, and uh, stick around for a little while and uh, find out some of the material that we get out. Today we're going to be doing a repair on the Razor. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, as many of you know, I had an incident where I was avoiding a truck coming down the road or coming down, coming along the road. Uh, in and was in our lane in oncoming traffic and so I swerved to miss him and I had two choices either go off the embankment or slam into the side of the mountain well I chose to slam into the side of the mountain and in doing so I bent and broke some super ATV high clearance A arms now the super ATV high clearance A arms let me say a couple of things number one absolute amazing product no I am not sponsored by super ATV in any way shape or form However, I do like to get uh, reviews out and, and talk about some customer service and, and issues um, that we have with um, the product and how things went. So um, absolutely amazing product. I have no complaints whatsoever on it. I have had had some issues with some people on the forums that have talked to me and, and uh, not really talked to me, but uh, voiced their opinion about how if the Super ATV... A arms were quality; uh, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have broke. Well, let me tell you this: um, something had to give. I hit that wall at about 25, 30 mile an hour, and it didn't bend my frame. It did not tweak anything else in the car, uh, and everything appears to be just the A arms themselves. Let me tell you how those A arms held up. I still had to drive another fifteen miles to get out of uh, the desert to where I could go and get my truck and trailer uh, to come and get it. So the fact that I was able to still run the car and get myself and my daughter out of the desert uh, without having to hike out says a lot about it. So um, the arms didn't continue to break and twist and bend at all after uh, the initial impact and I was able to drive um, out and I'm very happy about happy about that. Now, had it been any lesser A arms or any lesser quality, then there's no way that that would have been possible. I can tell you right now, stock Polaris A arms, there's no way they would have tacoed and I'd have been SOL and probably broke up a number of other things on the razor as well. All I did was it, uh, to the razor was uh, bend and break uh, the high clearance A arms and also the tire got into the fender a little bit and pulled the fender flare off. So I'm going to have to do some repairs on that. And that's going to be coming up in another video. But all that being said, um, very happy with the way they performed. Nothing else was damaged on the car. My daughter and I were fine. Um, the, uh, for lack of a better term, the not very nice dignified driver of the, the Toyota Tacoma did not stop. He kept on, uh, going and, uh, as if nothing happened, but, uh, coming around the corner way too hot. And in my lane, I had no other options, but to try to swerve and miss him or take him head on. And that was not going to work out well. Uh, one other thing to add, um, I did not bend the tabs or anything where the A-arms mount. And that also is because of the super ATV, uh, frame stiffener. I have that on there. It's a quality product. Um, nice big quarter inch thick steel, um, that uh, they have that fits your fits your razor and helps support the that front frame and the tabs everything lined up very well um i got the video coming up right after this that uh, you'll be able to see um in high speed hyperlapse how we uh, were able to get it fixed and up and going and again nothing else was um, beat up broke up or anything else so a couple of shout outs i want to give out there uh sharon in the warranty department thank you um she, you want to talk about a no bones, no questions asked warranty. Uh, this happened on a Sunday evening. I sent a warranty email. Now the email for Super ATV on their A-arms is you break them, we buy them. And there was no questions asked. I had an email the next morning, bright and early, and she asked if I had a couple of pictures. I sent the pictures over and 20 minutes later, I had A-arms uh, being shipped to me via UPS. Um, absolutely fantastic. I, th cannot give Sharon, the warranty department, Super ATV, their customer service, any higher praise. They are phenomenal. Eric, who works in the uh, internet department, uh, who I contact through the forums, things like that, he's been instrumental in helping me through all this. So 
Eric, thank you. And everybody at Super ATV, thank you for the quality products that you get out and um, all the things you do for us. Keep up the customer service and you've got a loyal customer. Get this video out for others to see and thank you for all you do. Take care, watch the video and uh, ride safe.
Super 8 TV was kind enough to install new heavy duty ball joints for me. We're going to grease those before we put those in. We're also going to put the grease zerks into the fittings there so that we can continue to grease these as they're on the on the car. As you can see, this one didn't take too much of a beating, but it is slightly bent just a little bit. And as Cabot pointed out, these do not match at all. Uh, this particular A-arm that came off of the car is really bent. Now look at this. It's taking a beating. It's broken right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to count the threads on the uh, offset there. That's how you adjust your camber. Emotions have an echo in so much space.